So Final Destination, Dose. It's basically just the next one in the series. There's five of them now. Um, this one is good. You know, I thought the first two and the fifth one are good. The third and fourth one were kind of the down part of the series, but yeah. So the plot for this one is... It's the same Final Destination deal, you know, the girl has a premonition about a car crash instead of a plane crash, and now Death has to hunt them down because they were supposed to die in the car crash, but they didn't, and yeah. Characters, the main character is Kimberly, um, who's not a good as protagonist. I like Alex, played by Devin Saw, a little more, but she's still alright. Then there's the her somewhat love interest, uh, Officer Burke, who's played by Discount Tobey Maguire. Um, he's kind of a bad actor, but um, yeah. And they bring Clear Rivers back from the first movie, and Ali Larder's still kind of a bad actress. Something that notices me, and just because I'm a hypocrite, I have to say this, she had brown hair in the first movie, blonde hair in this movie, and so, you know, if she shut up in that penitentiary, she's like, no, I can't let anyone come in here, then she's like, oh, but she dyed her hair blonde, so she won't let anything come in there, but she'll let, you know, a little glass container of hair dye, I don't know. So skip to this time on the clock to skip the spoilers. So I liked Eugene and Nora and some of the other characters, so when they died, I was kind of... I guess emotional, sad, I don't really know. Um, the whole death working backwards thing was kind of interesting. Then there was the um, Kimberly having to die ex machina. I thought, oh, Isabella had the baby and they're safe now, but then nope, nope, she's got to dive into the river and die. And then, this is kind of a spoiler for the third movie. I was like, okay, so if the way to avoid death was having her die, which she did technically, then, um, why do they, why does it say they died in the third movie? I mean, I guess maybe you could say, oh, well, she died and was brought back to life, so that doesn't count, um, and that could work in the first movie, too. Yeah, though, that just didn't really make that much sense to me. So, I'd say, oh, no, this movie is a lot better put together than the first movie. It's not as creepy, but it just, it feels more like a thriller film. It's not creepy, it's not creepy at all, or scary, but it's just, you know, you kind of get this sense. I like the characters. The characters drive this movie. Um, I'd say this movie is worth buying on DVD, so it's still not great, but it's pretty good. So, yeah, be sure to subscribe. Bye.